Hey, I'm Jamie with Guitarist Magazine. And over the past few years, one kind of interesting and growing part of the guitar market is the um, high-end Les Paul inspired boutique guitar, we might call it. And we find these sort of instruments produced by um, boutique makers from PRS to um, uh, the maker I have in my hands here, which is Patrick James Eggle. Uh, Patrick James Eggle has a long experience in the making guitars and um, both acoustic and electric and these days he makes exclusively electric guitars up in Oswald Street in the UK and uh, we've said many times that these are some of the highest quality instruments we've had uh, in for review and that's no lie these are really special instruments they're built for um, to, a, to a premium price but you absolutely get some of the um, nicest guitar builds that we've seen. So we thought we'd show you this one here, which is in for review in Guitarist Magazine this month. It's the Patrick James Eggle Macon SC, sing, standing for single cut for obvious reasons. So let's walk you through some of the features. So the um, sort of tonal heart of this guitar are these two humbucking pickups here by Cream T, and they're based off guitarist Jeff Whitehorn's 1957 Les Paul Gold Tops pickups. So these are called 57 GT pickups. Um, Cream T used a sort of proprietary scanning process, which they say um, hyper accurately emu uh, replicates the sound of um, vintage pickups that are scanned using his method. Uh, we we I have no way of objectively testing that, but uh, in this case, because we don't have Jeff's guitar, but um, these certainly sound great, like kind of mid output paths, basically. Body is Honduran mahogany uh, with a maple cap, as you might expect. The interesting thing here is that you've got a Santos rosewood neck. Um, so you can see on the fingerboard that Santos rosewood is otherwise known as Pau Ferro. It uh, can be highly figured. It's very um, beautiful wood, if you get a good example of it. And um, it's said to sit somewhere between rosewood and ebony in um, in its kind of presence in, in, in the sound of a guitar. Up here we've got uh, open gear hip shot tuners. Scale length is a uh, what some people would call a vintage, an accurately measured vintage Gibson scale length of 24.6 inches. The thing about this guitar is everywhere you look you'll find familiar looking things, parts, components um, that have been elevated to another level. And a good example of that is the uh, bridge and, um, and tailpiece assembly here. Looks like a regular tunematic. It's actually made in Germany by ABM and it's milled from solid aluminium rather than die cast. And Patrick says small details like that that just add to the totality of the guitar, to the sustain, to the voice, to the general feel of being just a notch or two above an already good standard. Um, let's have a little look down here at the controls again. That idea, very familiar um, control set here, behaves as you'd expect, except you have a blower switch here. And what that does is, no matter where you're, let's suppose you're on the bridge pickup, uh, sorry, the neck pickup, and you want to drop into a solo, the blower switch will instantly route the signal straight out of the guitar without passing the tone circuit or the volume controls. Um, this is a technique that's used to get a bit of a lift, uh, a kind of greater presence in the mix, just going straight through like that. It sounds a really great hot tone. So I'll just play on the neck pickup and then pull up that blower switch and you can see what I mean. <laughs> Almost use that like an overdrive pedal you know if you want to just flip to the solo sound um, straight away it's a tremendously useful little tweak and again it's that feeling it's like a bespoke suit just does things that you want it to do this guitar um, on the fretboard we've got medium tall Jeskar frets and uh, nickel silver ones and uh, they're very nice very comfortable finished beautifully lovely domed ends there and um, if we can just turn the guitar over I'll show you some more of that attention to detail um, you can see here, firstly, the beautifully blended in um, contours of the uh, Santos Rosewood neck. Absolutely gorgeous bit of wood, but this heel is a, is a work of art. Um, it's not a, it hasn't got a mortise, it's not a mortise and tenon joint, it's a slipper joint. It goes straight in and it's just made so well and with such a, a large contact area inside that it's absolutely rock solid. And not only that, you get this beautifully sculpted uh, chamfered heel, um, it's, uh, to, which gives you better access at the top anodized um, alloy 
and plates over the control cavities again not a right angle among it here it's just all nice organic rounded shapes everything about this guitar is just detail 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 has been taken care of and um, you know that's what your money buys here um, it's a fabulous playing guitar and uh, the real proof of the pudding though is in the eating so uh, we'll play a few little sounds in isolation and then you can hear we'll, we'll play you out with a bit of a little track we've done um, word on signal chain we're using a, uh, a Laney Lionheart 20 watt combo here really nice uh, EL84 based combo and we're playing through our Schmidt array board which um, has on it uh, the pedals that we're using is a J Rocket 45 caliber um, JDM 45 style overdrive and we're using a little bit of Free the Tone um, Ambi Space Digital Reverb plus we're doing the drum loops on a Boss RC10R rhythm uh, looper uh, it's a great little pedal for accompanying yourself at home so that's the signal chain anyway on to the sound so we're going to start with the neck pickup I'll show you it clean and then with a little bit of uh, overdrive on it and we'll move through the pickup selections okay here goes clean on the neck pickup <laughs> Next we move to the middle, uh, both pickups on uh, selection. <laughs> Here straight away there's a little jump in sort of output there uh, it's quite a bright guitar it's got lots of bite to it almost like a really fat telecaster of course you can tame that with those tone controls anytime you want certainly not intrusive <laughs> This guitar has absolutely sustained for days. Um, really nice feature of it. Let's move over to the bridge pickup uh, on its own. Firstly, clean again. Again, that sort of low wind path type feel, like a big Telecaster. And with the overdrive. Let's hit that blower switch just to get bypass the tone and volume controls. Absolutely classic voices there. You can drive them hard, you can use them clean. It all sounds good. Anyway, um, let's leave you with a little track we've looped up here on the pedal board and um, uh, a few final parting facts about the guitar. It's about five and five thousand four hundred pounds, so by no means cheap. Uh, but as we've explained, this is a top-notch instrument. So if you are in the market for that evolved, refined take on the whole legacy of the Les Paul. Uh, from another maker, from an independent maker based in the UK, um, we certainly recommend you check out Patrick James Eggles guitars and uh, certainly the Make on SC um, because it's a great instrument. Mm -hmm.